Hello, I hope all of you are okay. Um, I want to share with you a quick guide to calculate hydrogen bonds energy. If you are an experimental chemist, maybe you are facing or want to calculate the energy of um, intramolecular interaction more than just bond lengths or bond angles because when you deal with quantitative problems such as catalysis or thermodynamic effects um, maybe you want the energies of interaction so I will uh, share with you an example I want to calculate the hydrogen bond energy of this bond let me show you this one so if you have a Gaussian output um, you can observe the bond length the angle length also but this is not enough in terms of, in terms of quantitative uh, purposes so let me show you what thing you can do so first of all to say that in research gate web page you can find a lot of information in my case I do some research months ago and there are a lot of people that have the same questions about energy of hydrogen bonds and I found that Professor Tian Lu developed a software called uh, multi-wave function in which you can easily calculate the hydrogen bond energy if you have an output from Gaussian, Orca, Gamers and so on so I have an output yet from Gaussian yeah so I encourage you to uh, visit the web page of Professor Tian Lu download the version of the software you may need Linux or Windows version in my case I'm working today in Windows on Windows so uh, you only have to execute the program and you will see this window from where you can charge your output file um, let me show you how I do yeah you have to input your formatted ch key file yeah not the output not the log file um, the formatted ch key file so this one this So the next step is just to go for um, topology analysis, which is the number two. Then go again with number two, which uh, is uh, search critical points from nuclear positions. I have to say that this treatment of the energies of hydrogen bonds is based on atom in molecules theory. So but you need the wave function from the Gaussian so you have uh, to select again the number 2 and then you go with number 3 which is a search of critical points from midpoint of atomic pairs yeah and then if you type zero you will get a preview of your system it it is a very simply a very simple uh, view of your molecule but you can do a zoom in and you will see the critical points which are in orange i mean 
and for hydrogen bonds it is the 3 minus 1 critical points this comes from atoms in molecule theory so I encourage you if you have to learn more about this theory just go from to Wikipedia or to the um, web page of Dr. Professor Tian Lu and you will learn a lot of this and then you just have to, to, to find the part of the molecule you are interested in so let me rotate the molecule this one Th this is the part in which we are interested in so uh, we have to show the critical point labels to locate the critical point of our interest and we look for the trees minus one critical point so the other ones are known or or interest uh, okay this preview is enough and then you go with the number a which is to generate the paths connecting the critical the critical points yeah so once you generate the pathways you again type zero to view your system uh, here so we have to do zoom in to get a more clear view of your system and maybe you want to increase the size of the levels okay and to have a more clear view of your system we want to show the molecule yeah so we are interested in the critical point label with the 60a 60a let me increase the label Seventy-eight. I mean, seventy-eight. That's the critical point we are interested in. Seventy-eight. Yeah, you can recognize the critical point by the small orange dot between the atoms, and you you want to measure the binding energy. So this is the oxygen. This is the hydrogen. This is the nitrogen, and the critical point is labeled as seventy-eight. This is our critical point. So we can return to the uh, interface program and now we go with 7 which is show the real space function values at a specific critical point. So we go with 7 and the program uh, asks for the critical point number which is 70A as we see before 78 yeah so what parameter we need in this case you have to find for the total density of electrons yeah so um let me find this is this is the value we need density of all electrons which is this value 0 0.5024 0 yeah to the minus 1 to the minus 1 yeah so we have to get this value 0 0.0.5 0 zero to four to the minus one density of all electrons yeah this is the value of our critical point and then you just have to go 
to the multi wave function manual or just um, go to this paper in which the density of electron is used to calculate the hydrogen bond uh, energy yeah this paper you can find a way how to use this density of, of electrons to calculate the energy bond of the hydrogen interaction and just let me show it's uh, straightforward to find the energy so in, th in this paper you will find all the background and you will see this pair of equations yeah if your hydrogen interaction implies a charge or is it a neutral interaction you will use these equations depending on the case and uh, you have and the only thing you have to to do is substitute the density of all the electrons here and you will get as outcome the energy of the hydrogen bond in kilocalories let me show this is the density of all electrons for our critical point which is this value as you saw this and binding energy we just have to substitute this value in this equation I will uh, use the yellow one because our system is a charged system it's a sbiterionic form of this molecule so um, this is a quaternary nitrogen so it is a positive charged nitrogen so I will use the, the yellow one so I will use the density of all electrons in this equation and here you have let me show you this is the energy in kilocalories per mole of your hydrogen bond 70.75 kilocalories 17.75 kilocalories per mole so this is the energy of your hydrogen bond and this is a very straightforward way to calculate energies and to have a more formal way to manage your theoretical calculations instead of just uh, dealing with bond lengths or bond angles which is not a quantitative treatment of the molecule so I, I hope this may be helpful for you and any comments you may have I will be uh, very pleased to answer have a good one See you later.